the diagonals of a rectangle are equal and bisect each other. So this theorem we need to prove diagonals of rectangle are equal. At the same time they will bisect each other also. So let me take a, a rectangle. So a rectangle is a type of parallelogram, right? So we can do use the rules of parallelogram also here. So diagonals of rectangle are equal we need to prove. So first of all the given values are given data here. ABCD is a rectangle and ACBD are the diagonals. So that means if we take ABCD. Yeah. So AC and BD are the diagonals. ABCD is rectangle and ACBD are other diagonals. Yes, so this is a given. So we need to prove. So to prove. So the theorems, uh, we need to prove according to theorem, diagonals of rectangle are equal. So diagonals are here AC and BD. So AC must, you should prove equals to BD. And they bisect each other. So bisect each other means at the same time I need to prove. So I should take the diagonals bisecting. So that is uh, A to C. This one diagonal and D to B is another diagonal. So they are intersect at O. So they bisect each other. That means so we need to prove OA is equals to OC. And another diagonal is OB is equals to OD. Right? These two also I need to prove. So I can't do theorem. So you don't have any construction, you can start the proof. So before starting proof, we need to take two triangles. So to prove AC is equals to BD. So AC is one of the diagonal and BD is one of the diagonal. These two diagonals should come in two different triangles. So in uh, triangle, I am taking triangles uh, ABC and triangle. So in ABC, AC is the diagonal. AC is the diagonal part. And in ABD, so you can see here ABD triangle. So from this both we have. So we need to prove these two triangles are a congruent first. Okay. So ABC. In ABC this is the diagonal part. And DBA or ABD. In ABD. So BD is the diagonal part. These two triangles if I prove congruent. Then I call the CPCT I can conclude that AC is equals to BD. So we will take uh, properties that is uh, BC is equals to because in from ABC triangle BC is equals to AD because BC and AD are the opposite sides opposite sides of a rectangle so they are opposite sides of a rectangle right so they are equal and angle B and D also. Angle B means angle ABC. So angle ABC is equals to at the same time angle BAD. BAD. These two are equal because each angle is equal to 90 degrees. So they are equals to 90 each and every angle. And this one common side also. AB is the common side for both. And AB is equals to BA. So this is the common side. Right? Now if you observe the side angle and side. Therefore triangle ABC is a congruent to triangle BAD. So this is the angle side angle axiom. Two angles, so common side opposite. No, it's A S C S. Okay. Axiom. S C S property. Therefore, when two triangles are uh, congruent, that is A B C and B A D. So in A B C A C and B A D is B D. These two are the diagonals. Then we can conclude that hence A C is equals to uh, B D. 
this is by uh, CPCT corresponding parts of congruent triangle are equal right corresponding parts of congruent triangle is a congruent and we need to prove this uh, intersecting that is they will bisect each other that means we need to prove AO is equals to OC and OD is equals to OB so for proof of this we can write this statement directly that is a, a triangle is a type of parallelogram because a rectangle a rectangle is a type of a parallelogram so we know that in parallelogram diagonals bisect each other so diagonals uh, of rectangle also bisect each other because in parallelogram diagonals bisect each other in rectangle also diagonals will bisect each other that statement we should write then we can conclude hence OA is equals to OC and uh, OB is equals to OD because parallelogram diagonals are bisect each other that hence there so diagonals of rectangle also bisect each other then OA is equals to OC and OD is equals to OB right? this way you can prove the diagonals of rectangle are equal so any type of proof in this quadrilateral you need to test check which two triangles to take to prove they are congruent or not that's important similarly we can prove the diagonals of square also equal and bisect each other at right angles so that also explain next theorem how to prove the diagonals of square are equal